Hello, and welcome back. I'm Captain Mal, and you know what? This this guy right here, dressed up like a pilgrim, was giving this nice lady a hard time. So we're gonna teach him some manners. Chuban, and then oh. we're gonna say to some random person, Chuban, which I have no idea what that is, but it doesn't really matter. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna kick this guy's butt. Pick up the extra extra crew that it provides us. And then I decided that since the crew's been together a while, well, it might be best to just go to uh, the western shipping lanes instead of going into the Spanish main. But I haven't completely decided yet. So let's gather up these guys here. We'll go to the next port or two. And then I will make my decision. Do we go north? Well, northwestish, <laughs> or do we go south? Uh, trade with merchants. I'm just going ahead. Uh, this isn't necessarily optimal per se, because you could take it to different ports and monitor all the prices okay. and all that. But since I'm attacking so many ships and I'm picking up so much. Uh, uh, kind of booty from 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 those other uh, ships and towns and whatnot. It just makes sense to me to um, d dump it and have more space, right? So that's why I'm just selling stuff. If you're wondering, do, do, do. okay, upgrade. So at each, if, you have, if I haven't explained this, at each town, the shipwright will have a different specialty or a different upgrade, and they do as you would guess, different things. So like cotton sails will make you go faster. Grape shot is a different type of shot that you can fire to, to basically put holes in people's sails to slow them down. Um, fine grain, um, fine, fine. <laughs> fine grain powder uh, makes your shots more accurate and uh, let, let them shoot further. Yeah, yeah, right here, it says right here. What I need is the uh, plating for the hull so they can turn faster. It's the one I really need. Um, but we'll get it. We'll get everything eventually. Let's check our status. Our guys are content. It's not ideal because we're trying to pick up more people. And again, the longer you've been, the longer you've been at sea with the same crew, the more antsy they get about, you know, breaking up and wanting their money. Nice thing about, this is a pirate ship that we're attacking, nice thing about attacking other pirates is that beyond the fact that you can pick up good ships, their people of course tend to join you, that's another good reason. They have gold, which is awesome, and then it's a faction bonus across all factions, so there's like basically no downside to taking them. Uh, we'll sink her and keep the gold, obviously. Not much gold, but meh. Which I think what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna cut across. I'll come back to Nevis in a minute. I'm gonna go to Antigua first. Come on. Come on. I can do it. I can do it. Sailing west is obviously a lot easier because you have the winds with you. Okay. Tavern. 23. Yeah, and we'll fight this guy to pick up another 10. Rapier is my weapon of choice. This is probably the part of the game that, you know, I would tell you is. The, like the most important skill wise to get good at is um, is the sword fighting because especially on harder difficulties it's really they're really fast and you can take on you can have like fights where the odds are really stacked against you but if you're really good at the sword fighting part of the game you can sort of pull through Okay, um, sell your lockpicking kits may help you escape captivity. Uh, that's a useful item, but I, I, I don't plan on it getting caught, so no. Uh, if I do get caught, 
it'll be because I want to show you guys that because there's like another little mini game with that whole thing. There's also a little mini game associated with sneaking into a town. Test. Um, oh wait, maybe that's the mini game I'm thinking of. Where you're sneaking in or out of a town where you where, where your faction is against you, but you want to get into that town anyway. I don't remember. It's been a while since I've played this. Let's see. Trade with the merchant. Nope. Okay. Shipwright. Ah, okay, triple hammocks. So it gives us more crew. Great. A little bit of cell image, we'll repair that. Okay, now we will sell back here. I don't think we'll be able to get too many people here. 13? That's better than nothing. Yep, take another piece of the map. Why that why this guy won't sell you like the whole map at once? I don't know what that's about. Consult ship ray. Um, sure, I'll take chain shot. Oh, actually, you know what? I told you guys wrong. Grape shot is to uh, take out crew. Take out crew on their deck. Chain shot is what you want to shoot to take down the mass of an enemy ship. Okay, so we'll hit up St. Kitts. We'll hit up St. Martin, and then we'll make our decision where we're going. Pistons. Search in the blah. St. St. Barnabas. Wait, isn't that... Yeah, that's right over there where we were. Isn't it? Hold on. Let me, double, let me check. Sail away map. Let's look at San Juan, shall we? How close can I get, actually? Oh, I can't get that close, huh? Hmm. Seems like it's like right back over in the same spot, but... That seems a little silly if that's the case. Morale's not great. So this is when... You also have issues with um, so the crew's getting big. That's part of the problem. The other part of the problem is we've been together a while now at sea, so you're kind of better off like break, you know, dividing the plunder. But I don't want to do it with all these people in the crew, right? So what I will do, and so I'll keep going for now. But I've gotta, I gotta be mindful. Yeah, see, it's at sea for 16 months. I would say, unless you're really just bringing in a ton of gold, a crew this size. Hmm. And mind you, I have all the specialists and stuff too that help out with that. You're probably good. I'd say anything after 18 months and you're pushing it, like you're gonna start having a mutiny. Now, what you can do, and what I'm going to do, is I'm gonna, you know, obviously leave Harbor, and as long as they're not mutinous yet, which they aren't, I didn't lose any crew, right? So now I'm at sea, so where are they gonna go? Even if they do decide to mutiny against me, I'll beat a guy in a sword fight, so whatever. And yes, I have decided that instead of going south into the Spanish main, ooh, new warship, wouldn't mind grabbing that. Let's see. Uh, that I am going to attack the shipping lanes. I don't feel like we have the morale to to do the other. I want to hang out here for a second and see if that whatever that was, ship of the line or whatever that ship was, see if it comes back out. If we had if we had a crew that had not been together as long, I would have taken it south into the main. And wh what I mean by that is, doo -doo -doo, zoom out down here and just raid up along the coast, attacking ships and uh, you know picking up maybe a, a sweet city to town to jump. But we we can't. Okay, what's this? What's this? No, oh, that's just a trade guy. We'll we'll attack it anyway. Free money.
when you're approaching a ship like that, if you've got speed, just just take the one hit. Generally, it's going to do very little damage because maybe one or two cannonballs hit your ship um, since you're not, you know, since you're narrow side instead of broad. So just cut through and go, and don't bother with trying to, you know, gun them down or whatever first. I mean, it's quite frankly, it's not all that helpful. Especially if you're good at the, the sword fighting. Okay, so we'll sink her. We'll take everything. Okay. Now that might be something we want to keep. What do we got there? Fast Galleon. Actually... Yeah, you know what? I might, I might actually keep them and use them. The Fast Galleons are pretty good. And the nice thing about Fast Galleons, even if you don't keep them long term, since it'll come upgraded, it could it could be the ship that we take through our uh, splitting of the plunder. And then you've got a ship that can carry, you know, whatever, 200 people or on the, once you come out on the other side of splitting, dividing the plunder. Yeah, let's keep her. Let's see, what does she have? Okay, she's got bronze plating. She's got, oh, wow. She's pretty nice. That might become Fuzzy Bear the Fourth. Really? An another Pyro Hunter? Or okay. Well, if you insist. I mean, I don't really mind, it's fine. Hey now, wait a second here. Whoa, come on! This guy's not even hitting that fast. Come on, let's go. Okay. This is... There we go. For a second there, I was like, come on. Really? Ugh. Will not get me, funny hat guy. And yes, I'm aware that that's a conquistador's helmet. I don't care. Uh, I do care that he keeps stabbing me. Uh oh, uh oh. This is not good. Okay, come on. Oh, jeez. Come on. Oh, jeez. Oh my god, guys, no! 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 Oh my god. We lost the... We lost it. Well, okay, so... <laughs> so here's the repercussions of that. Uh, remember that fast galleon? Okay, that fast galleon becomes... <laughs> Fuzzy Bear the Fourth. Okay. No problem. Temporary setback at best. <laughs> Though embarrassing for me. Okay, so I can lose. I can lose at the sword fighting mini game. I didn't say I couldn't lose. I said I usually don't. Now this ship is a big daddy, sit there and broadside him kind of ship. So not fast like our other ship. But that's all right. So we will. We'll simply uh, shoot him once or whatever, and then... You now see, look at this guy. This guy's like barely moving, right? That other guy was moving so fast, it didn't matter what key I hit. I'm not saying I didn't get beat. I did, but seriously. Hey now, get back there with your... I'm gonna hear the evidence hair. 
I said get back. Back, I said. There we go. Uh, and what is she? Brig of War. Ah, what the hell, take her. Okay, attack this guy. There's no finesse, really, to this ship, though. It's... It's just shoot him, shoot him, shoot him. Ooh, that was a pretty good broadside right there. Hi there! You wanna go ahead and strike up your colors? If you run over these little barrels and stuff, we'll get the gold. Alright. Not gonna strike your colors? How about now? No? Yeah, that's what I thought. Give me your stuffs. Uh, you know what? Let's check. Yep, there's that uh, Jesuit mission. So yeah, I think that map for the treasure is actually in the same spot. It's pretty funny. Ugh, this ship is so slow. Now here's another disadvantage to this being your flagship, though. Is that you, you, you do... I was about to say drive. <laughs> you drive, you sail at roughly the same speed as whatever your lead ship is. So, and you can't change before combat, right? Okay. What do we got? How much? Oh, I clicked. Uh, how much was that? The map will tell us, won't it? Won't status tell us? Personal status, captain's log. Oh, 9,000 gold. Oh, that was, that was awesome. And look, they're still pissed off. Grateful bastards. I don't care. I'm staying at sea for now. Okay, hello there, merchant man. That's another thing I don't like about the... Uh, let's switch to reef sails. Oh, strike your... Oh, wow, that's... They're striking their colors early, that's nice. Oh, transporting a governor. Oh, hi. How you doing? Sometimes what'll happen is when you're turning one of these bigger ships, you'll turn part way, and the wind will just keep pushing you. Okay, there we go. Uh-huh, you felt that one. I don't I'm just gonna sink her, I think. I don't see why I need to do anything other than that. Come on. No, no, no. See, right there. See, it was blowing up. Uh, reef sails. Switch. Steady, steady. Yeah. Come on. Get another one. No, nah, that's going to be off. All right, let's try getting a... Let's try getting a north-south broadside. Okay. Let's go back to full, full sails. Let's go. There we go. Reload. Come on. Jeez, that thing... I can't believe it's still together. Oh, <laughs> this is funny. I can't remember the last time I've seen a ship take this kind of abuse. You see, they got their, their colors too, right? I could have gone in and they would have surrendered, but I don't care. 
That's right. Just sink your ass. Just give you no quarter. No quarter for you. Okay, now we should be near those French. Yeah, there we go. Tortuga, Port of Ah. Yeah. Now, so we should start seeing some French ships that we can raid. Ugh. Come on, come on. Uh, what else? What else do we have actually in our fleet right now that's upgraded? We have this other sloop that's upgraded pretty much all the way. Old Bear. I think I'm going to switch back to that, actually. Yeah. Yeah, I am. All right, so you lose your... Uh, we'll just call you ship, because I don't really care about you. And then we're going to go back to... Where is Old Bear? Okay, you. You rename. Fuzzy... Bear. And we'll just actually we'll stick with third because technically right he was the he, you know he was the backup so we'll just we'll just call him fuzzy bear third for now oh yeah see that's much better got maneuverability back got some speed back yeah it's not worth it to not worth it to give up for me anyway a lot of people like seem to like those bigger ships with the tons of guns and stuff but i, I can do without them Quite frankly. Okay. Alright. Privateer. Now we're just going to sort of... There's some pirate settlements over here, too. Pirate Haven. Come on. Ah. Guess i got to sit, like, right here if I want to get any of these ships. Ooh, new warship. Oh, ship of the line. Yeah. Wow, forty-eight guns. Holy crap! Did you see that? They fired far. That's the only way we didn't get decimated. Actually, decimated. Would it be a lower percentage? I probably should say we would have been devastated. One of those, anyway. I judge the unfit to sword fight me. <laughs> that guy's got the dumbest hair. back. I said back. There we go. Hey, what do you know? Pirate Hunter. Oh, it's, it is a... Well, I don't have room, but it is a super war. Not really upgraded, though. What? Why is there, like, no wind? If he wants to close, he can. He has the speed to do it. But that's fine. I, I welcome the engagement that way, but I'm not gonna do this. Already lost a couple ships trying to be super crazy guy. So you come on. Come and knock on my door. We are waiting for you. Uh-uh-uh-uh-uh-uh-uh. Nope, uh, 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 uh. nope, 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 nope. You're not gonna do that. That we're not doing. Come on, 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 come on. Hit him, hit him, hit him! 
Hit him, hit him, hit him. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. <sighs> okay, okay. We've got to take that as a sign. That you're a bad captain? Well, <laughs> yes, partially, evidently. No, I need to... I need to go to a friendly port. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to head to a friendly port. This is silly. So, there should be... Let's see. Up here? Or actually... We could just go to that pirate haven. It's fine. Let's do that. Ugh. The question is, can we make it? I don't know. We're pretty screwed up. Well, I tell you what. You'll find out whether or not we survived. And if we're actually going to be able to make it back down into the Spanish main in our next episode. So, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this one. I did, even though I didn't get the ideal outcome I was looking for. Still had fun playing it. That's why I love this game. Uh, in any case, I hope you continue to join me for the adventures of the... Uh, what will this be? Dread Pirate Ship... Fuzzy Bear the Fourth? Yeah, Fuzzy Bear the Fourth. And the next one. If you like this one, please consider giving it a thumbs up. As always, I appreciate your comments and feedback. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, I'm Captain Mal, and I will see you later.